Lindsay, each score 40 36. While Judge Barbara Pettis has it 39 37. You know it's AB, always born, always born, a lot of bills, you know what's going on man, you know, uh, shout out to Crown Joe's boxing man, you know, uh, my people, you know, uh, they, they get it in over there, straight up. What's good YouTube, Crown Jewel from Crown Jewel Boxing, back to drop a gem. Um, just ordered today. Imanis Stanionis Virgil Ortiz for WBO to become the WBO mandatory. You know, so they'll, they'll, they're an eliminated a face. But um, as we know, or we've been told or heard, that Stanionis was in uh, negotiations to be fighting boots on a uh, Javante Davis undercard. We see why that's not happening now. In my opinion, I think he's taking the easier route against Virgil Ortiz because a win against either one of those guys would have put him right in line for a title shot. So I think he took the easy way out by fighting Virgil Ortiz because he knew that boots would wash him. But, I mean, it is what it is. He's fighting, uh, he's fighting um, Virgil Ortiz. Golden Boy won the first bid for $2.3 million, and that fight's supposed to take place in March. Also, prayers uh, and well wishes go out to Earl the Truth Spence. Um... IBF, WBA, WBC, welterweight champion of the world, unfortunately was involved in yet another car accident. Um, this time, it seems he was not at fault. Um, he was hit head on by a 14-year-old unlicensed driver. Um, I was told he had some kind of leg injury, but nothing major, so I'm glad he's okay. I wish him a speedy recovery and, uh, I mean, much better luck when it comes to these automobiles. Hang in there, champ. But until next time, keep your hands up, your chin down, your ass off the floor. Peace.